Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, everybody. Uh, all of you will be wondering. Last week we bid a farewell, and my God, she's back. Is that the feeling? Mm-hmm. So I am um, back because of two things. One is, you know, your level three classes will start from seventh of uh, May, right? So till seventh of May we have one more. Tomorrow we will not have, but next week I just thought there are few things sometimes we feel is unfinished, right? So I wanted to share a couple of things with you all. One is I thought I'll share what are all the books we all can read from Veda Bliss. So I will take you through Veda Bliss. Also, what I was thinking is there is a lovely course called the Bridge Course, which we give to the teenagers, and you all don't have a chance to uh, go through this Bridge Course. So I thought it's called Science and Spirituality, and since you all are in level two, uh, two to three, right? So it will make a lot of um, value if I can take you all through because this is a session which uh, I have done even for college students, corporates, and all, and they really enjoyed. why i wanted to pitch in this is because the moment you are entering into level 3 it means that you should start teaching so when i say teaching i don't mean that you must teach 100 students or 50 students even teaching one person is teaching so your path should be like whomever you meet can you convey a message right so um, in that process what i thought is we'll meet mixed people now with bhagavad gita experience you will know that a lot of people will not necessarily be in mode of goodness we'll come across mode of uh, passion and ignorance so what's very important is how do we handle them how do we take them to the next level right so with that i just thought i will give you an introduction of uh, science and spirituality that is one plus i also would like to know if there is any other agenda you all have uh, you all want to ask any questions which are pending so i will start off with mangala charan so if you all have any questions you all can type in the chat Uh, otherwise, in, after five minutes, I'll start this presentation. Hare Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Hare Krishna. Om Agnyanatimrandesya. Nyananjala chala kaya. Chakshurun militam yena. Tasme Shri Guru ve namaha. Shri Chaitanya mano vishtam. Stapitam yena bhutale. Swayam rupa kadamaya. Dadati svapadati kam. हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगतपति गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी शुभांशुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचा कल्पकूप्य कृपा सिंधुप्य पति पावनीभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निवैतारावृंद क्वेश्चन so um, when only arjuna devatas and satya heard bhagavad gita who okay uh, arjuna the bhagavad gita spoke in the battle was spoken in the battle field the battle lasted for 18 days bhagavad gita was spo- spoken in sanskrit by krishna to arjuna and it was 45 minutes you know the time duration was 45 minutes uh, so this was in the middle of the battle field and we know right senior ubayor matte so he goes and keeps the chariot he drives the chariot and parks the chariot right before dronacharya and bishma that is when the entire bhagavad gita gets spoken i mean he starts speaking about that so who records it okay this is recorded by vyasa how vyasa is an incarnation of krishna and it's one of the avatars remember i told six categories of avatars are there 
the category is called satya avesha avatar wherein he takes a specific role right so it's like he manifests for a particular purpose the example is narada he comes as a devotee now like vyasa he comes for a specific role that is for making a note of vedas so vyasa wrote all vedas mahabharata all the four vedas right uh, yajur vedas how what are the four vedas now i should ask you how can i leave my questioning session what are the four vedas <gasps> manasri you know Yes, ma- yes, Mataji. Big Veda, Yajur Veda, Sam Veda, and Athar Veda. Oh my God! And Mataji, 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 I am learning Yajur Veda. I am learning Yajur Veda. Ah, so how are you learning Yajur Veda? Online, Mataji. Oh, very nice. All the best, Hare Krishna. After you learn, you teach me, okay? <laughs> Thank okay. you so much, Mataji. welcome hari krishna so basically the whole this is a concept so uh, and sanjaya was given divya drishti to because first the offer was given to durdrashtra because he is blind but durdrashtra refuses it and therefore sanjaya had to accept because he is a secretary also the very important thing is he is vyasa's um, uh, you know student so sanjaya gets the uh, gets to see the whole thing and he narrates and obviously what is seen by sanjaya is seen by vyasa also because he is also carrying special powers hari krishna uh, saraswati radhika mata ji you are not able to edit the certificate how to fill okay which certificate you are not able to okay there are a couple of doubts which are coming to me back and forth that you are not able to do the first level 1 certificate no problem level 1 certificate if you don't have it's fine you should have level 2 certificate so if you are having a challenge in level 2 certificate i would request you all to write to nandita mata ji because level 2 certificate should not be i'm sorry to interrupt radhika ma'am Uh, yes. they have been given a email id is kon nanta ah okay thank you so much they have to write there because i'm oh, not a part of so the sure can you also share the email id in the group in this chat of zoom sure sure i'll do that so that yeah yeah thank you so much uh, so uh, one more thing is briefly about each prabhupada's book sure i'll do that i would love to do that so let me just okay, take you all through the veda base Keep open. It stops. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, you can't see the screen. So, what you do is you go to Google and you can type. Do I have typed it? Veda Base. Dot in. Uh, the link is already there in the settings. so you have all these books which are free of cost you can't download but you can read so the first book is bhagavad gita so all of us know what bhagavad gita is that's 700 verses the second book is shrimad bhagavatam you go click on that can you see the screen you can see right so the bhagavatam has 12 cantos and totally 18 books uh, my only suggestion is by now you should have started reading bhagavatam if you haven't please read bhagavatam because if you do not read bhagavatam trust me you are really missing something in life i hate to read books i will never read books I, the only books i read is my study books or management books which are absolutely important i don't even read newspaper so for me i can't this is bug so you can imagine for a book reader how they will be attached this is amazing this is about the past times of the devotees and their bhakti towards krishna it talks about everything it talks about love story it talks about rich it talks about poor it talks about how a very big king with all opulences could do bhakti who had no need right many times we relate bhakti means oh my krishna i have a problem and therefore i'm doing bhakti but bhagavatam has stories of people who don't need anything still they do bhakti right the third uh, chapter is my favorite this is chaitanya charitamrita this is got three parts one is adi leela madhya leela and antya leela so the three leelas talk about journey of chaitanya right so typically from the time he was born 500 years till the time he was he, he left the place which is 48 years who is chaitanya chaitanya is none other than krishna himself so i was talking to you all about expansions and avatars the this one this one area which i left so chaitanya is none other than krishna himself so he is direct 
Hare Krishna as it is. Right? So this is a book which if you want dreams of God, Prabhupada says this. So you have to read this book. So this one has, you know, this is called Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And this has lovely stories, 90 chapters, I think 30, 30, 30. 30 in Madura, 30 in Vrindavan, approximately I'm saying, and 30 in Varaka. So it's like all split. So these are all lovely pastimes of Krishna. Primarily, this one is the Canto 10 of Srimad Bhagavad. So, um, Signs of Self Realization is supposed to be a book which you should start reading parallel. It's supposed to be the first set of books. And this book talks a lot about okay, I'm going to, I'm going to take you through the presentation of science and spirituality. So, you know the connecting dots. And uh, Srila Prabhupada talks again of three levels, right? You have volume one and volume two. It's a set of seven books, but I think it's condensed here. It's called Srila Prabhupada's Lina Amrita. We will really get to know how and what are the hardships he had. Did you all understand? So if you understand, I can go to the next row. Or I can stop here and we will meet again next week. I can continue the rest. Because if I'm going to give you everything, it will be a overload. What you're going to do in level three is the three books, which is one, Isha Upanishad. Can you see here? Yeah, Nectar of Instruction. right? And the Nectar of Devotion, which is this book. These are the three books which will be taught in the level three. And uh, that will be taken, uh, the, who will be the teacher? It will be, uh, I think, 7 p.m. if I'm right, Saturday, Sunday. It will be Sri Lakshmi. I I will invite Sri Lakshmi uh, next week. In fact, I should have called her today, but otherwise I'll invite her next week so that you can have uh, your doubts clarified. We will not touch these topics because she's anyways going to take. So this is what is primarily the ones. Wow. So very beautiful. Uh, okay, whoever wants to repeat level two, uh, Nandita Hare Krishna. Nandita, uh, yes, ma'am. Specific process for level two repetition. We've given them the list of requirements, the same as mentioned in the Google form, which they have to fill and attach their certificates. And uh, whoever qualifies will be sent a WhatsApp. You're talking about level two, repeating level two. For repeating level two, they're free to. Yeah, there's no. No registration form or anything as of now, ma'am. Okay, now one more question. Are, are you, are you present... going to take level two? I don't know. I I, I don't, I, I'm not sure. Am I going to take level three? No, not in English. I will not be taking level three right now in English. It will be Sri Lakshmi Mataji. It's always best you have two teachers for different levels so that you taste something different. So uh, Sri Lakshmi is, uh, is very, um, what should I say? She's very knowledgeable. And I can assure you that you thoroughly enjoy her classes and uh, she can take, and it's totally new topics, right? Isha Upanishad and Nectar of Instruction and Nectar of Emotion. So you'll get a new breeze, but you know me, I will always come. So I am like a backup. So if any teacher needs a backup, the number, uh, you know, I'm like a hotline. So somewhere or the other, you know, I, you can be rest assured that I will come, uh, you know, at any time, you know, I'll poke my head and I will be there. So you can I've registered for level 3 but I didn't receive any confirmation because we have not yet officially floated the confirmation is what I because we are uh, announcing that's why I'm here to tell you all that don't worry we will have this announcement and we will be doing this uh, so all your sadhana chart, all your attendance and all your quizzes are taken care of you have uploaded the file automatically your name will be called this will be on the 7th of May and we will meet once more next Saturday or Sunday, I'll come. Yeah, Nandita will send you. This is one of the days. We'll meet. In fact, I wanted to meet all of you all on third also because third is a very auspicious day, Akshay Trivi. So we'll try and see if we can do one more session on the third. So if you all permit me, can I try and take you all through uh, uh, science and spirituality? Can we start? Yes, no, or you want anything else to discuss? I'm totally open. So you all can decide. Do you want? Uh, need to take you all through that or do you have yes mataji yes mataji. i have a doubt mataji sorry yes. no, no. Mataji. Hare krishna mataji Hare krishna i'm very much interested in joining level three uh, i mean thanks to the courtesy of kirti mataji and nandita mataji who were our almost co-hosts and leaders mataji but uh, my issue is that i don't have level one certificate mataji. that's okay mataji thank you so much for bringing this up Level uh, one certificate, if you do not have, please uh, up, kindly do it. If you do not have a level one certificate, that's fine. Please up, upload your level two certificate. Uh, and you have to, um, uh, okay, the condition for your level three, uh, many are asking, you should be, uh, you should not be a non-vegetarian. So basically you should be a vegetarian. 
So you should be. I I think I'll change my words. You should have stopped eating non-veg if you are a non-vegetarian. I think I should use that. Otherwise, yeah. it will confuse you. All right, you will be thinking yeah. by birth. So there is nothing by birth. So I would say that you should have got yourself converted into a vegetarian. Yes. Yes. So if this makes it clearer. Ah. Okay. Yes. Mataji, I also have a question. Yes. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Yes, ma'am. I want to ask something, Mataji. I completed my second level. Quiz also I have completed, but um, certificate I am not able to download. This level two certificate. I think Nandita has just sent you a message in the chat. If you have a challenge, anything to do with uh, uh, you know uh, certificates, I think she shared an email ID. Even now she said, "Can you please check the message? WhatsApp, not WhatsApp, chat message also." She says, "If you have any issue related to quiz or LMS, please write to iskon nandur one at gmail dot com. The address in the chat. So if you can just because if you tell me about topics, it will just go over. Our, it's better you have it recorded uh, so that you know you'll be address better. Correct." So can I dive into science and spirituality? Can you please repeat the topic for the level three? Please. Topics for level three will be Isha Upanishad. It's a Upanishad. So, uh, that is one. You already have a uh, flair of that because I think when I was teaching Bhagavad Gita, the last module, I have brought in a lot of these verses. Uh, but you will systematically learn. Next is Nectar of Instruction, and the next one is the Nectar of Knowledge. Mata ji, what is the duration of L three? What is the duration of L three? You tell me how how long you want to do L three. I want to go to L four. Want to go to L four? You want to do L three and go to L four, or you want to directly go to L four? I will do L three first. Oh, okay. So what you do is you ask that Sri Lakshmi Mata Ji how long she is going to take to complete her L three. Okay, when she comes next week. Okay, Mata Ji. If you allow me, can I start with science and spirituality? Yes, Mata Ji. Hari Krishna. Hari yes, Krishna. Mata Ji. I need few of you all to read. So I need one. I want somebody who can read a little more technical because some of these terms can get technical. So, Manasvi, this can be a little heavy, uh, but still, just go with the flow. You will understand. Uh, yes, uh, yes, devotee Vijay Kumar. Yes, Prabhu. Sure. Yeah. So, there are a few who have raised their hand. So, let me just touch upon science and spirituality. This is my favorite topic, and uh, you all can all take notes and read. So, what is science and what is spirituality? Right. So, our understanding of science is starts with. Yes, you can start reading. One of you all. The two most important days of your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. Thank you so much, Mark Twain, and thank you so much, Kirti. Hare Krishna. So, do we really need spirituality? I, I'm sure you all will tell yes, but this is given to you, so you can imagine what answer they will give. So, typical answers which they will tell is spirituality. I can do without it. Please see this. These are the answers which you will have objections. So when you are teaching, these are the objections which you have. So this session is not to teach you all, but for you to facilitate teaching somebody else. So that's why I wanted to pick this topic. Now spirituality is unscientific. My life is too fast for it. Spirituality, where's the fun in it? That's escapism. These are the ninety percent of the apprehensions or this or the blockages which you will face. The none of you all will have this problem. With respect to y'all, so I don't have a problem with y'all with this, but y'all will have a problem the moment you go to teach. So that's why I'm sharing this. Externally visible differences between science and spirituality. You can see, though it appears right. So you see a special dedicated place for scientists. So is the temple. Medical books or engineering books. You have the pile of books. So is ours. We just saw the Veda books, right? So now you know why I do. So can someone tell me what university is this? Anyone in US here? Harvard University, man. MIT. Prabhu, where is Harvard University? Where is Harvard? Hare Krishna. Okay, so I'm not going to. Oh, sure, sure. So now, I somebody tell me what university is this? Okay. Huh? This is Padmanabha. Oh, Tirupati. So both are Tirupati. Who is Mataji? this here? 
Who is this? Mataji, this is Einstein. Albert Einstein. Mataji, this is Albert Einstein. How do you know Albert Einstein? I thought you don't know. Mataji, I have heard he, about him a lot. Amazing. So who is he? Madhavacharya. Amazing. How did you know he was Madhavacharya, by the way? Mataji, in the L1 classes, Mataji told about the Madhavacharya a lot of times. Ah, very nice. Who taught you L1? L1 many Matajis. Mataji. Oh, sorry. I think many of you all are not able to unmute. Yeah, you can unmute now. So it's all open. Hare Krishna. So uh, can you see there is a rocket launch. There is a huge crowd. Okay. And for Ratha Yatra also, there is a huge crowd. And by the way, I just want to tell, hopefully with Krishna's blessings, I will be in Jagannath Kuti on Monday. So that's why Monday morning, Monday and Tuesday morning, I will take classes. So I've got to take some of the Monday. Hari so, Bol. Thank you so much. So this is the uh, crowd for a launch. This is for Ratha Yatra. It is done worldwide thanks to Prabhupada, where there is huge gathering. Worldwide he is brought in. So what is speciality is Jagannath Puri. In Jagannath, you know, there is restriction, right? If, you are, if the person is a Muslim, um, and there are many restrictions for other foreigners. He cannot, or Christians, they cannot enter the temple. So, you know, it's like the doctor, if you're unwell, you go to the doctor. But if you're very, very unwell, the doctor comes to see you. So this is like very, very unwell. So Jagannath himself comes out to see all the devotees. So look at the crowd. Can you see? So the advent of science, Newton discovers the law of motion. You all know all of this. Maxwell theory of electron I'm not, uh, electromagnetism. I'm going to go fast. Einstein prostates, Planck prostates, all of this, right? So I just want you all to get a feel of what everyone said. So all there, all of them are great scientists. Sir Isaac Newton, right? So what he knows, mainly you, all of you all, when you talk about Newton, what comes Newton third law? Action and reaction. Every reaction has an equal and opposite reaction. And by the way, gravitation was also found by him. So are you... Gravitation, yeah. And gravitation came up only after Newton coming? No. It was already there. Never, never. Yeah, so it was there earlier. So what does he say? So Sir Isaac Newton says this. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Somebody please read. I had so many hands raised. This most beautiful system of the sun, planets and comets could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. So he is very clearly telling. I am talking about very high-end scientists. Today, all the teenagers and youngsters feel that, oh my God, scientist is great. Spirituality is too pretty. Right? So we'll hear what the scientists are saying. Yes, uh, Kirti Mataji, please go ahead. Hare Krishna. This being governs all things, not as the soul of the world, but as Lord over all. And on account of his dominion, he is to be called Lord God, universal ruler. Hare Krishna, I know what's running in your mind. Mataji is very general. It doesn't talk about Krishna. Okay, fine. Let's wait. Let's hear from others too. So Maxwell did all of this. So I'm not going to get into what is Maxwell electromagnetic radiation theory because I'm sure a physics person will be here. So we will just read what he says. Yes, keep Mataji. Hare Krishna. Almighty God, who has created man in thine own image and made him a living soul that he might seek after thee and have dominion over thy creatures. Teach us to study the works of thy hands, that we may subdue the earth to our use and strengthen the reason for thy service. So to receive thy blessed word, that we may believe on him who thou hast sent to give us the knowledge of salvation and the remission of our sins. Salvation, Mukti, right? So very clearly they have touched upon that, which we believe many scientists say that, you know, life ends here out of lust. We've read this, right? So now scientists, we have a different version. So Albert Einstein, I don't think we need an example of what he did. So he says, um, you know, uh, there is a perfect brain behind all the natural physics, physical laws. And science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. Right? Mataji, please go ahead. Yes, Kirti. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I believe in God who refe reveals himself in the order orderly harmony of, uni of the universe. I believe that intelligence is manifested throughout all nature. The basics of scientific work is conviction that the world is an ordered and comprehensible entity and not a thing of chance. When I sit here and watch the mighty ocean, 
I can imagine the treasures hidden below the bed of the sea. When I see the clear blue sky above, I feel sky is the limit. When I cast my eyes around, I see the wonders and beauties of nature. Science must learn to live in harmony with all these magnificent gifts of God to humanity. Hare Krishna. So you can right? So gifts of God to so every level. Everyone who's seriously involved in the pursuit of science becomes convinced that a spirit is manifested in the laws of the universe, a spirit vastly superior to that of a man, right? So, uh, uh, this one, uh, this video is in German, but please follow the subtitles. I will anyway play the sound. Please, uh, you are enjoyed. Nun werde ich euch beweisen, dass Gott, wenn es ihn gibt, böse ist. Hat Gott alles, was existiert, erschaffen? Wenn Gott alles erschaffen hat, dann hat er auch das Böse geschaffen. Das bedeutet, Gott ist böse. Herr Professor, existiert Kälte? Was für eine Frage soll das sein? Natürlich existiert die Kälte. War euch noch nie kalt? Nein, in der Tat, Herr Professor, die Kälte existiert nicht. Nach den Gesetzen der Physik ist das, was wir als kalt empfinden, nur das Fehlen von Wärme. Und existiert Dunkelheit, Herr Professor? Selbstverständlich existiert sie. Nein, sie ist nur das Fehlen von Licht. Wir können das Licht messen, aber die Dunkelheit nicht. Das Böse existiert nicht, genau wie die Kälte und die Dunkelheit. Gott hat das Böse nicht geschaffen. Es ist das Ergebnis dessen, was Gottes Hand noch nicht berührt hat. Can you see this? It's Einstein. So the beauty is what darkness by itself doesn't exist. Right? So what exists is uh, absence of light is darkness. Likewise, evil doesn't exist. Absence of God is uh, only evil. So many times we have this issue telling that uh, the question which comes to me at all levels, 18 days, level 3, even at level 4. What about a person who is very, very good, extremely good, right? Does not believe in God. Yes, he's very good, but the chance of evil entering is very high at any point in time. And even if the he is good, it comes from the material good, right? So basically, my mind is good, which is subtle body still. But the soul by itself needs Krishna. So the soul communication happens only when you give Krishna to the soul. So someone who is very good is very good at a material platform, which means that in a material platform, anybody like how he can become rich and he can fall down poor, right? Anytime, a business guy. Likewise, a very good guy can fall off. But if he's in a spiritual platform, if you give Krishna to the soul, the soul will protect because the intelligence takes control of the mind. Otherwise, you know, the mind, we always, I told you, right? So the mind, the function of the mind is to do or not to do. Right? It has a choice to do, not to do. The function of the intelligence is very determined. Determination. That is why when we are doing, uh, uh, you know, we say that the devotee is intelligent because the function of the intelligence takes over. And the function of the soul is bliss, eternal bliss. Right? Soul is always happy. So uh, now we'll go and see Mark Karls, the speed at which I'm going. I'll finish this session only at 11 o'clock. So uh, this is Planck and he, uh, quantum theory. For religion, God is at the beginning and for science, God is at the end. But eventually, God is there. So there was this particular uh, spaceship which was going. I'm not getting the name. I'll tell you in a minute. So this was supposed to um, um, fall. It was supposed to be destroyed. So everybody inside were praying uh, at that moment. Because last moment, distress, right? So they were praying and finally it came fine. I don't remember I, the moment I get it, I, I'm telling you. So this was the advent of technology. We know all of this, right? Television, aerospace, computer, internet, cell phones. So this is a boring video, you all know better about the cell phone. We are talking about, uh, this is also another video when we have time. So dark size of science, one side we saw science is very good. But on the other side, we see the science is also a little dangerous, right? So there is a dark face to it. Uh, there are a few videos which I can't play right now because of copyright issues, which I will play at the end of the class. Uh, so, you know, we have Stephen Hawking. He says humanity will just uh, be last 400 years. Now, only 100 years will be more. But at least what he said is true in terms of you. Now, if you see this combination, this is not the mommy data. It's not mommy child or daddy child, right? It is basically adopted child, right? So this is a orangutan and adopted mother. So you can see the situation now. A hard look on modern world, the ecology. 
So what is ecology? Is environmental super disasters are no longer doomsday. They are all imminent reality. Right? So World Health Organization, what is happening? Violence. Now the violence has increased seven times and compared to 19th century. Now modern people currently suffer with stress, depression, hypertension, addiction. Right? Suicide is over one million. So people commit suicide almost every year. But the family, uh, you know, is uh, eventually, you know, in USA and UA, it's like one out of three land up in a divorce right? because of which the juvenile delinquency, all that is coming. What's going on? The capable capacities of science to disturb the universe have far exceeded our capacity to remedy the disturbances we cause, which is very true. Freeman has said this because, which is a fact, right? Many times destruction is easier, but construction is difficult. It applies to not just the environment, it applies even to a small thing, right? The child will take half an hour to build the mud house, but it will take one second for us to destroy. So is the, uh, is the building, right? I get a bulldozer, I can finish, I can get the building tallest building to the ground in less than half an hour. But to construct, it will take years to build. I will stop, pause the recording, but I just want you all to... Uh, so it says, like, we live in our age of guided missiles and misguided men. Martin Luther King, Jr. That's a fact, right? So level of life, what is happening today, uh, physically, right? We have a blessing, which is we have communication, locomotives, comforts, everything. But the problem is, we don't even have fresh air to be. Psychologically, there's a lot of entertainment. Right, psychiatry, everything is there. But boredom, addiction, suicide, anxiety. Uh, earlier, we never had this TV and other stuff, mobile and all. So today, I notice nobody wants to wait. Nobody wants to wait even for a few seconds. So this, I noticed when I took my daughter for the passport, managed to go inside, and he, in fact, nowadays you know, like passports, they give you a lot of time. And your waiting time is hardly fifteen minutes. Even that, she was saying, you know, can we go? you know, have some drink or something? Can we go sit down or can I go this, do this? So that 15 minutes, right? They just don't have the patience to wait because that's become the routine, right? So life is trained that, okay, we don't want to wait. And even if that two minutes is there, I'll play in the mobile or I will do something. Level of our life is, uh, economy has increased. Industrialization is great. Computer socialization is right. Curse is a congestion. Uh, ecology, thermal, hydraulics, everything we are seeing, but results in global warming. Medically, medicines are there, a very unhealthy lifestyle. We are having various variants of COVID, but we don't know the solution yet. And uh, this is very nice. I used to, yes, uh, Kirti, please read Hare Krishna. If anybody wants to read from the screen, that's fine. Shall I read? Yeah, yeah, please. Sure. Hey, Mataji, can you read from the screen? Yes, yes, yes. Please go ahead. I used to speak. Hare Krishna Mataji. I used to think that top environmental problems were biodiversity loss, ecosystem collapse and climate change. I thought that 30 years of good science could address these problems. I was wrong. The top environmental problems are selfishness, greed and apathy. And to deal with these, we need a cultural and spiritual transformation. And we scientists do not know how to do that. Hare Krishna Mataji. So what is he telling is he's talking about specifically the environmental issues which we are facing, right? 30 years was good for science to address the problems, but the time is so long that nothing seems to be corrected. Uh, so 100 years of puzzle. So this play, I'm not going to play this video. So quantum uh, was not new, but we think it's as new as one decade or max two decades. Nobody understands that this is the only physics which actually tries to create relationship. How can you, even metaphysics for that matter. So where they can connect relationships are taught here, which I think was not even, uh, is not even taught. I don't think it was taught even 10 years before. So here there is a new way of thinking. It is that this is how we can, we should be doing science. So they're trying to connect. So now science enters spirituality. How? Through quantum consciousness and creation. So just wait, I'll take all the conscious studies. So let's pay our obeisances to Shishira the Guru. That is just so appreciation of Vedas by scientists and Western philosophers. We already did this one round, but this is very important. So now this one talks directly about Bhagavad Gita. Many of you all said, right? Is Bhagavad Gita addressed? Yes, it is addressed. And yes, please go ahead on this. Good morning. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, please. In the morning. 
In the morning, I bathed my in the morning, intellect with the stupendous philosophy of the Bhagavad Gita, in comparison with which our modern world and its literature seems puny and tri trivial. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. So he says, I bathed with the intellect of Bhagavad Gita and appreciation by the American philosopher. Whenever I have read any part of the Vedas, I have felt that some unearthly and unknown light illuminated me. In the great teaching of the Vedas, there is no touch of sectarianism. It is of all ages, climes and nationalities and is the royal road for the attainment of the great knowledge. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So just give me... Yeah, so, Hare Krishna. So, so this is one more thing which I remember about Prabhupada. So he had been to, I think, Iran or something where they were uh, doing namaz. And Prabhupada really enjoyed and he was also praying. Uh, and someone came and told, are you not going to talk to uh, talk about Krishna? He said, why are you making me a sector, uh, sectarian? I'm not here to promote anything. And same way, if you see, Prabhupada has never told anyone who's very serious. Example, a priest or someone who's very serious. He's never told them to think of Krishna. He only said, you'll understand. Keep praying. Whatever you're doing, stay focused. But follow whatever they're saying to the team. So there is absolutely, so whatever you're talking about, they have said very clearly, there's absolutely no touch of sectarianism. Right. So it is, and this is this even Bhagavad Gita, if you take 5,000 years back, it is over. And the rules seem to be applying every moment. But if you take any rule, government rule, what we saw 10 years back doesn't even relate. Right. So uh, nothing relates. So so that's the kind of irony. It keeps, keeps changing. Right. So we are not even um, clear. Any one of y'all, any one, one of y'all can take turns. You don't need my permission. As long as you'll read fast, we'll cover more. That's my only idea. So please go ahead. Hare Krishna. The screen is on to you. In Veda, I encountered deep original noble thoughts filled with exalted and sacred devotion. What a wonderful spirit is following through the whole Vedas. How very much everyone who studied these extraordinary books has been hit by the spiritual spark to the depths of his soul. Arthur Schopenhauer, 1788-1860, one of the most famous German philosophers and writers of the 19th century. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so remember Vedas when they are referring, they are directly talking about Vedas written by Vyasa and it directly talks about luckily India because this is where Vedas started. So here he says Vedas are the most important metaphysics that the human mind might have conceived. It is knowledge of today not cannot overcome the intellect and knowledge of the rishis, the sages of the ancient India. And at the most advanced stage, it is closer to so important you know, whatever we are talking about today, right? We are talking about uh, seven, uh, you know, uh, we are talking about uh, the entire world has seven continents. It was told earlier. We saw about, uh, you know, the cow dung is auspicious. Usually stool is inauspicious, but cow dung is auspicious, it was told. The Vedas are the greatest privilege of the century. So this is spoken. And India has been a teacher of China in trigonometry, quadratic equation, linguistics, phon phon phonetics, and so on, right? This is from Chinese scholar. Appreciation of Vedas, you can see, I'm convinced that everything came to us from the banks of Ganges. Astronomy, astrology, physics, and mathematics. Pythagoras theorem, we used to call Pythagoras theorem. You know, when we were small, that's there, right? Greatest gift. Now, Albert Einstein, he says, we owe a lot to the Indians who taught us how to count, without which no worthwhile scientific discovery could be made. When I read Bhagavad Gita and reflect about how God created this universe, Everything else seems superfluous, right? So clearly he is trying to tell. So Gandhi, I think you all should read. Hare Krishna. When doubts when haunt that... me, when disappointments stare me yeah. in the face and I see not one ray of hope on the horizon, I turn to Bhagavad Gita and find a verse to comfort me and I immediately begin to smile in the midst of overwhelming sorrow. Those who meditate on the Gita will derive fresh joy and new meanings from it every day. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. So you can all imagine somebody like Mahatma Gandhi would have gone through all kinds of trauma, right? Financially, he uh, studied in Africa. Right? South Africa, he was there and he uh, studied. And he was a barrister, right? Law and practiced so much money, so rich. Otherwise, it was not easy those days. They never had bank loan concepts, right? And uh, only somebody from a very esteemed family will go there. In spite of that, he came here, he never wore blazers or suits, which he was used to. And he, you know that he wore, and you know the kind of traumas he had, but nothing stopped him, right? Let's 
have a few parallels, which is what I was talking about. Coding is pure, which way uh, US has even taken patent. Uh, Google means we're talking about Google, Earth, uh, plants having life, human embryology. Human embryology, I request each one of you to read the last chapter in the fifth canto. It talks about human embryology. You all saw that video, right? The light that is from here. So let me again pause the recording and you can see how uh, plants are reacting, which actually we never. So, um, you know, we are going to bring you back into Srimad Bhagavatam. Some very astonishing predictions which are in Srimad Bhagavatam, which was written 5,000 years back. Does anyone know when did Buddha come? Or can you, I'll start with Chaitanya. Does anyone know Chaitanya, how many years ago he came? 500 years ago, Mataji. Amazing. Buddha, Buddha. Yes, Buddha is an incarnation of Krishna, of course. So, how many years ago did he come? Somebody can guess. 2000 years. Ago. Yes, 2600 years. That's absolutely right. 2000 years. That was closest. So, Chaitanya, but Bhagavatam was written 5000 years ago. Predicted 4500 years later, which means 500 years before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is going to come. Buddha. Chanakya. All of you know Chanakya, right? He was a political and military warfare. He was, an ex he was excelling in that. Chandragupta, Maurya, and Kringa Shoka. So when I take some class, sometimes uh, in a couple of sessions, I think in the youth, they were telling, will my name be there? I would love to, but are we really so good to have our names in Srimad Bhagavatam? Unfortunately, our names are not there. So Chaitanya, uh, sorry, Chandragupta, Maurya, and Kringa Shoka's name is there. So, so, far, so I would request each one of you to please read Srimad Bhagavatam, and I would like to keep the floor open for Nandita Mataji, who is trying to bring in this opportunity to all of you all. Nandita, you want to take over about Srimad Bhagavatam? Special class? I just wanted to tell everybody yes. that we have a very nice devotee called the Lina Mataji from South Africa, who is starting a group to read uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, she's proposing a particular time and day. I will post the link of the WhatsApp group tomorrow and all our babies. Whoever wishes to join can please join. Whoever is sincere about reading it at least for one hour a day to uh, a week together can please join that group. All questions can be asked in that group uh, to Delina Mataji as well. Unfortunately, she's not here for the class today. Very sorry, but I'll share the link tomorrow with her permission. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Thank so you. this is not a teaching class. It's a reading class. So Srimad Bhagavatam is a reading. But I've noticed one thing that we don't read on our own and we don't have the discipline. So chanting itself is a big deal. So therefore, uh, so I think Nandita has put her hand down to sort of get people, neophytes, uh, new readers. We can start from chapter one. Also, Srimad Bhagavatam in Tamil is offered at 6 a.m. in the morning. In English, Namanishta Das Prabhu teaches at 8.15 and 5.45 a.m. morning for 15 minutes. There's a very short Srimad Bhagavatam class as well. So try and make use of all this. Mistakes which are fundamental is, uh, you know, there are a lot of mistakes in science and what they are. So modern science talks about matter and knowledge. Vedic science talks about matter, knowledge and talks about soul and super soul. Now you may wonder what because just matter and knowledge is not sufficient. There are gaps, right? Consciousness, where does it come from? Various views about reality is now, you know, this is beautiful. Skeptic, only our experiences are real. Many of them tell us, right? We are talking about seeing is believing. So many people believe what I experience is true. What I don't experience is not true. Materialists have a different way. They say that uh, experience is solely matter obeying different laws. So we had laws which are confusing. We had Newton law, which is true. We always thought science, uh, you know what, uh, science, uh, you know, there's a constant fight. Science came before or arts came before. While they are fighting, they have something called law of uh, attraction, right? The book of secrets. If you go through, it's a very beautiful book. It says that whatever you wish truly desire happens. How? The how is not answered. So first they said the law of, uh, you know, the, the commercial laws are higher, arts and science. Later they said science. All this, while they're conflicting, they came and said there's something called law of attraction, which is about this theoretical laws. And now who, the law is perfect, but who is the sanctioner of the law is left, is left man. Now, Buddhist is very nice. Okay, this has come up. So Buddhists believe in Shunya. Shunya means zero. So Buddha came to tell, this was during uh, then where, they, you know, uh, they wanted to prove, that is, there was a lot of animal training. It even went to the extent of human killing. 
that is anyone who is dumb could also be killed because he was considered as animal and we have examples of jada barada so buddha came to put an end to it and therefore to address the crowd at that point in time remember every philosopher is intelligent to address a specific crowd so buddhist came to address a crowd then telling that please do not kill animals don't believe in vedas forget it and buddha is an incarnation of krishna right we are so brilliant whoever ad- advises we will make them god so we made buddha himself god right he came and told don't believe in god and we made buddha himself god right so this is one now mayavadi philosophy uh, okay is talking about any times what is vita what is uh, you know advaita so mayavadi philosophy believed in advaita one so merging with krishna right so that is not possible you can't merge with krishna you are separate and krishna is always separate if so powerful as krishna then maya should be you should control maya you should be able to predict i uh, you know h- half an hour later nandita mataji should be able to tell me who's going to knock her door will she be able to know then obviously how can you ever merge with she will never be able to tell even after 100 years right neither can i so we can never merge with uh, krishna we'll always completely be different identities so so that's the concept which they believe which is nirguna right now vaishnava philosophy talks about variety variegatedness right we believe in energy also where mayavadi believe only as energy vaishnavas believe in energy also krishna is the paramatma also and supreme person also right and vaishnava philosophy again has ramanuja charya philosophy wherein it's like your uh, you all told right so tripati what is the relationship why don't you all tell me what is the relationship when you pray uh, when you go to vikteesh parmar what do you feel like in tripati how do you pray how do you pray to vikteesh parmar forget what you want to pray actually in tripati yeah true but what is your relationship what is your relationship five rasas can someone tell me what are the five rasas in goloka now Kanta, Dasya, Sakya, Madhurya, Madhurya, Vatsalya. Vatsalya. Thank you so much. So five are there, but predominantly in Vaikuntha, five don't dominate. Only two. The neutrality and the servitorship. Right? These are the two dominant features. So the relationship, you're very unlikely. The Thrupati, you're very emotional. No doubt. But will you ever go and hug? You go and look at the feet. You go fall. But Krishna prayers are different. In Jagannath, people go and hug him. right that's the today of course due to security reason covid compliance all that they have stopped but you know the relationship you have with krishna you go to a temple many of them tell i feel i get so angry with krishna you know and some of them you know treat him like a child so all this are happening so therefore the bhava is different so ramanuja acharya uses the word adhyan i am a servitor but the uh, madhva acharya whom we saw is the sampradaya which we follow what is the sampradaya which we are following ृष्ण but at the same time it's different also right so that's the concept just to give you a simple understanding of my understanding i just thought i'd share so if someone has severe stomach pain would this person is don't eat it the stomach pain will go just don't eat starve mayavadi philosophy is eat but eat only white rice na okay vaishnava philosophy is you want to eat everything first take medicine cure yourself and then come you no know, do it take little rice but you can have variety but just have your medicine and what medicine are we all having now chemicals sorry prabhu chemical chemical no 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 what that is true maha maha mantra thank you so much the medicine we are using is maha mantra come on all of you together once again hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna hare rama hare rama 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 hare rama rama hare hare krishna hare 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 rama hare rama 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 so much so that is the philosophy we follow right we believe in medicines and enjoying so we believe in variety But whatever we do, we do for Krishna. Will we wear nice dress? Yes, but we'll keep it before Krishna. Will we nice dress? We'll keep the prasad and then eat. Will we cha- do charity? Yes, right. But we won't keep it. We'll keep it for Krishna. Bringing science and spirituality together is a solution, right? So we have various things 
level one is study of matter level two is study of living matter and life itself right in that only level three is a new concept where you talk about all the physics and all that is level four it's gone advanced but level three talks clearly matter in the level because everything else level one is only about matter no life right sunya second one talks about only life there is no matter this is also sunya whereas three talks about matter with respect to life four is also matter but independent of life it doesn't work both work together so which you are going to see in isha upanishad also vidyam cha vidyam cha esta vedo bayam sah avidyaya mrityum dhitva avidyaya mrityum ashrute hari krishna means what if you are uneducated it's waste if you are educated it's great but both material and spiritual you should be equal because only then you will be able to take it to the next level so about living system and non living system right so with this we are going to a little more in conclusion without knowledge of soul morality becomes meaningless because if you don't understand soul you just don't know i just told you it's like you will be aimless right without knowledge of god we will become orphans we spoke we become disunited we i told you all about the invisible threats too so there is an invisible threat and if we don't believe in the threat then there is no connect without spiritual nourishment we become overwhelmed by negative material tendencies this is what anxiety hatred because we are not giving krishna to the soul the bliss and happiness has to happen at the soul we are not doing that it's like this right i have a skin disease i have to treat from inside i have to take a tablet inside it is not enough if i just put makeup and cover my face because sooner or later it's going to come that's what we are doing we are using makeup right so if manasvi if i am going to leave, leave you in an island for two days alone i'm giving you two choices i will give you a beautiful tv to play or i'll give you my cat what would you prefer cat mataji and prabhu ji what would you prefer cat mataji and prabhu ji because we are uh, associated with krishna consciousness that is why our manasvi is very elevated she is going to krishna conscious but even if assuming that the person is not they need light because matter you can't stay for long so i asked this in youth class they told me once that we will have tv i said okay fine so what if it's one week tv one month ah uh, they started thinking okay another two months no 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 we need because we'll get bored of tv so they know right so they know that they can't sustain with that so matter cat also does the same thing it will you it will sleep with you it will sleep more than you but the difference is we are living beings and we need to have connect with living we can't have connect with matter religion science is lame and science without religion is why albert einstein only told this prabhupada has also repeated this one so what is prabhupada saying indian system is lame man right american resourcefulness is like blind man right very beautiful thing if you start thinking but can together in a new era is right they can really get a great name together which is what i was telling to be ignorant is bad one second and to be ignorant and to declare ignorance to be knowledge is worse avidya many of them tell no oh this is only correct you are fool but then you go and tell something ignorant thing as knowledge to be ignorant and to declare ignorant to be knowledge and to declare knowledge to be ignorant is worse so this reminds the third one reminds me of my brother so we were all there and i told you this in my uncle's place and he was telling that oh i don't want to read bhagavad gita that's a third category you know why because if i read bhagavad gita i have to follow the rules but if i don't read bhagavad gita i won't i don't have to follow so i was just telling okay fine so you don't take a license and don't learn driving so go to the road and you bang someone oh i don't have license i don't have the rule will the government let go of you yes or no yes or no 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 yes, because the duty no. is you have to know your road rule if manasvi drives maybe they are she small they will spare her but they will not spare her parents right they're going to bring them into custody so the rule is very clear if you are not following the vedas it means it's you are not doing your duty because you are supposed to know your swadharma which means you have to know your sanatana dharma of understanding what is vedas in relation to family so radha go in the temple come let's kindle the wisdom love and fire of okay, spiritual journey spirituality now this is the six questions which are unanswered i will take five more minutes please each one of you will read because you will understand this clearly i can do without it for all those who speak the knowledge alone so now once again i'll mute because some meaning is one second i'll unmute you can you can unmute yourself i just muted please unmute and read hari krishna spirituality i can do without it science and technology alone cannot solve the problems of the new millennium we need additional guidance for our actions these guidelines have to do with ethics philosophy and with faith richard r ernest noble laureate 
science and technology may be able to give some answer about the mechanics of this universe, but they cannot give the deeper answers to life and cannot truly satisfy. Ultimately, science only talks about chemical reactions. It doesn't talk about happiness. Without a spiritual dimension, one will have to live without direction, purpose, meaning, true happiness and love. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. So beautiful, right? So, so beautiful. So I don't need to explain to you. So you can, I can do without it. So you can understand it's, the purpose is defeated. Uh, so the next person who says it's unscientific. Yes, please go ahead. So we'll see how much of science is there in spirituality. Please go ahead, Mother. Hare Krishna. Spirituality. Go ahead. Sorry. Yes, spirituality. That's unscientific. Spirituality is not just a bunch of emotions and fantasy. It is the reality of our existence. Physics lives inside it only. Jagdish Srivastava, eminent mathematician, research professor, Colorado State University. Most people see spirituality and religion as a set of dogmatic beliefs and rituals that the masses are told to follow without any understanding of it. This is certainly the case in many places. But does bad application of something make something bad? Actual spiritual and religious life is a higher dimensional science with authorized universities, professors, and textbooks. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Prabhu. A typical concept of guru, when you're in level one and someone talks about guru, it applies to me too. You have a shock. Oh my God, guru. Because we've heard so much about fake gurus. And that is dominating us so much, right? And I remember, uh, you know, that uh, when I was in college, so that was PG, right? So there used to be girls who used to ride bike or two-wheeler or car. But the moment they stop with that accident, you know, I mean, they will stop. They will stop driving, right? So I, I had a similar accident too. But I continued, of course, not immediately after that. So for me, it came naturally. It's not that I had any uh, signs behind it. But uh, there was one person, one Prabhu, who actually told, when you get up and uh, as a child, you know, when you walk, you try, you fall many times. Do you stop walking? You don't stop walking. Right? So there can be so many times things which can go wrong. You can have accidents. You can have anything in life. You don't stop doing it. So what will you do? You try and fix your break and do this. Likewise, even when you talk about uh, anything, right? You're talking about uh, not just accidents. Here you're talking about, uh, you know, if something goes wrong, I will not continue that. It's a very wrong philosophy. So if you found the wrong guru, okay, let's assume that you went to a college and you failed. Will you tell that, oh my God, this college I failed and therefore I will never go to any college and I will not allow anyone to go to any college. Isn't that foolish? So not having a guru or someone lining up with the wrong guru or a lot of fake gurus, we have to identify. It's our foolishness, right? So we become more smarter to identify. My life is too short, fast for it. This is the this is the best content. Please someone read it loud and clear. Like, Imagine you're on a journey to another city, you're driving very fast, but you don't know if you're going in the right direction. The intelligent thing to do is to pull over, take some time or find your bearing and then start moving again. So there's like you're progressing in the right direction. So we may have set many goals and aspirations in life, but the first thing we should do is first find out where we are going. It's like driving. You don't do mad, mad driving because I don't have time, right? You do your GPS, you stop by if you know that you're in the direction or not. That's sensible. So likewise, my time is too fast. Just stop here. Yeah? Then you know at least you're doing the right thing. Well, where, where's the fun in that? Right? Where's the fun in that? So spirituality. Now, one of y'all, uh, go ahead and read this so we'll see what the fun is. Spirituality. Where is the fun in that? Spirituality is not self abnegation It is self-fulfillment. By practicing spirituality, one can achieve a higher quality of happiness, much deeper than any experience of material pleasure. A real spiritualist dances, sings, travels, works, jokes, and rejoices, all in relationship with God. And when we hear of God, we have some present notion of a white bearded, bearded old man sitting on a throne, throwing people into the fire of eternal hell. But actually, God can be one's intimate friend. One one can joke around with him. In fact, one can relate to God as their son or partner. That is possible. Sweet relationships with God. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So I declared that the class will end last week. But today I see close to 50 of you all here. Even though we just announced about 2-3 hours today, all of you all are here. So why would you 
you know, we've been having long classes, almost five months, right? But still, you all want to come. Why? Because, and you all want, you all are asked for level E. And that's very precious time. Saturday, Sunday, you know, 8 o'clock is your prime time. Right? Why is it? Because your heart wants it. Your soul needs it. Right? Your soul needs bliss. The, as I said, the bliss is the quality of the soul. So forget all of us, right? In India, I always tell four regulatory principles. I always tell two. So what is the two? Because we talk about four. One is meat eating, intoxication, illicit sex, and gambling. Very unlikely to see gambling and illicit sex, not much. But what could possibly be there is meat eating or probably you know intoxication. Intoxication, you will tell Mataji, alcohol, we don't request, but coffee, tea, yes, right? So that's also a mild intoxicant. So these are the only two things which are possible, largely possible. So we park this one side. We've always had the belief of God. But if you take abroad, right? Prabhupada had been to US. We all know uh, that he went there and that to the hippies. So hippies never even bother about their own family us or Krishna. So they never believed in God or they never had a proper process. They had everything possible. They had, meat was the only thing they ate. In, they were completely intoxicated. They were LSD, drugs, whatever you call. Uh, and uh, illicit sex was like regular sex for them. It was like, it's like how you eat like that they made. And coming back to, um, you know, gambling, I mean, they, typically their lifestyles were so bad, right? They were into cards, gambling, fights, everything they did. So, such people gave up all four. And I still keep wondering how. I still don't understand what is it in them. You know, but we saw, right, Param Dishwa, Numartiti. So, you have a higher goal. So, someone asked me, you know, I uh, had this, I was not addicted anyways to coffee, uh, tea. Coffee, I never liked tea. So, someone asked me, uh, you know, uh, I think this is finished probably. In one of the classes, he was asking me, you know, how do you think, Radhika, you can give up tea? And on a very serious note, you know, I was telling in the beginning classes, right? Param Nishtva Nivartite is true, but unfortunately, you know, still we are not elevated. So for giving up, what I did is every day I used to drink very nice badam milk, thick and cold, you know, and within five days I drank and six days when I tasted coffee, I felt uh, tea, I felt yeah, oh. because you experience that thickness, that fresh milk, that chillness, because Chennai is hot, but badam, that fresh taste, and you feel a lot of strength after that because one is it's cold, second thing is badam has energy. Okay, and after that, so he started laughing. He just, I still remember he was laughing. And then I realized, oh my, should I have, should I have told something better? You know, of course, I couldn't make it. I couldn't make up that kind of an answer. But what I, what is meant there is Krishna, right? Krishna, they got Krishna and that was higher. None of that matter, right? So you always, of course, you can start off. But beyond the point, there are a lot of Matajis and Prabhuji's who just give up like this. You give up non-veg, coffee, tea, onion, how? Because they're experiencing a lot of this. Right, right Krishna? Escapism. Uh, to escapism, uh, yeah, someone, that's escapism. It's the last thing. Spirituality, that's escapism. A true spiritualist does not run away from the world. Rather, he actively lies in the world and fulfills all responsibilities, but in such a way that everything is guided towards the ultimate goal of life. By dint of receiving the highest education, which is Raja Vidya, he knows how to add God in every aspect of his life. Thus, he lives in the world without becoming entangled in the selfish intrigues of this world. His principle is, be in this world, but not of this world. A certain section may become spiritual teachers in order to guide society in the higher principles of life. But this does not mean that everyone who learns a subject becomes a teacher of that subject. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Prabhu. So clear conclusion. So escapism. There is no way we are talking about escapism. Did Arjuna want to run away? Did Krishna tell very good run away? Go think of me. No. He said nothing. You will not do anything. You will continue to live here and you will continue to stay and fight. So spirituality means not running away. Spirituality means staying there and fighting for the cause. Right? So this is a typical concept of spirituality and um, the session is very long. It will take another one hour. So I'm not going to do this today. So maybe we can do it next week again. We can continue the second half of it. So why am I saying this is this is our most important part of spirituality. So Sanyasi is running away does not happen. Here you will involve Krishna, right? Your eyes see Krishna. Your ears listen to Kirtan. Your mouth chants Krishna. Your hands actually are used for cooking. Uh, Krishna Boha, you ate Krishna's food. You dress for Krishna. You look at Krishna. So everywhere you bring Krishna in the middle, right? So that's the uh, beauty of the uh, of everything, right? So I just thought I will do this. I will not end. Science and spirituality still has a little more session, which is going to take time. 
So I just thought there are 200 slides. So there are around 100 slides. So I'm halfway through. So with that, I'll pause. Even if we don't complete, it's nice. But I thought you'll enjoy this session because I enjoyed this. And uh, when I presented to college, of course, I made it brief. They also enjoyed. So I thought you would uh, feel the same. So Hare Krishna. Uh, thank you so much. Vancha Kalpa Dharubhya Shya Kripa Sindhubhya Eva Chaya Pati Tanan Pavan Evyo Vaishnav Evyo Namo Namaha Hare Krishna come on all of you and then you can ask doubts. Hare Krishna Hare Thank you so much. Attendance is there. Please mark attendance. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Mangala Mataji. Wonderful presentation. Great session. We thoroughly enjoyed. I'm so happy you all enjoyed. I had a half mind. Did you all enjoy or not? But I thought, okay. I can relate. You, you all can relate to me. I can relate to you all. So I thought, yes, so we'll try this. So you all enjoy it. Then I will bring this piece of information to you. Let's stuck it. Nandita's voice I hear on and off, but I'm not sure. Uh, that wasn't me. I was oh, on sorry. silent. It was somebody who unmuted. Okay. So from everywhere, see, you're filling my mind so much. So. <laughs> but the voice uh, it was same as Nandita Mataji's. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, I'm very yeah, careful yeah. with my mic. Sorry. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mohandas Prabhu. Thank you so much. Do you all have any other doubts which you all wish like to clarify? Because this is a great forum. Well explained, Mother. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Manasvi. Oh, okay. We thoroughly enjoyed the session from Vijay Kumar Prabhu. Thank you so much. Uh, and Kirti Mataji, thank you so much. I thoroughly enjoyed your all reading. Manasvi, well explained, Mataji. Oh, thank you, Manasvi. I was a little doubtful because it's a little heavy, right? Signs and all. Hare Krishna, excellent presentation. Thank you. Kiran Mataji, uh, Hare Krishna Mataji, Hare Krishna. So, any other doubts you all have? I do. And one thing, thanks to all the devotees for joining in short notice. Sorry, Prabhu? No, I'm saying a big thanks to all the devotees. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you so much for notice. joining, for coming back. I started with the thanks. So, <laughs> thank you so much for joining. We will connect again next week. I would reconfirm if we if it would be nice if we can all meet on the third. So I have that we'll meet on either Sunday or third or try and do both. How about tomorrow, Mataji? Tomorrow we tomorrow we will not have a session. I'm taking off. So, oh, okay, I also have to decide what to give. <laughs> yes, Mataji, you need some break also. No, no, not break. I actually don't know why. These are this is not a part of the itinerary. So it was a free day. So Namanishta Prabhu told you do anything. Whatever you all want, you all do. Uh, so I, I was just thinking, I will present this. So in Tamil, they are presenting Chaitanya. So she said, can I go ahead and present? I said, you do an abbreviation. Don't finish the classes because the teachers have already been scheduled for. So how they are doing is they are doing um, 32 chapters. Each teacher or each admin will do one one chapter. So they've been doing that. So last four chapters were pending. So I said, whole teachers have been assigned. So each one of us have uh, a, a plan. So I just thought, I will do this. I also thought next week, this will take 10 minutes. I had two things in my mind. I always wanted to share. There is something called the Pada, Pada Sevanam, right? So we, our understanding of Pada Sevanam is different. My understanding of Pada Sevanam initially used to be just going and praying. Okay, but it means more. It means going to uh, holy places, understanding the Pada of the God. Tulati worship comes under Pada Sevanam. Guru worship and praying the devotee is also Pada Sevanam. So much I didn't know initially. So, guru, parents, all of them come under Pada Sevanam. So, I was also thinking, you know, uh, off the topic, you know, the Pada of Krishna has a lot of marks, right? So, uh, I was just thinking if we can, or I can present, and I will also be nice if you all want to tell stories. Now, I want to keep the floor open right now. We've been doing this in the morning session of my level two, where I tell the devotees to, uh, you know, tell stories. Would you all like to share any story, realization, experience, whatever? Share. Looking forward for most Mat questions. Mataji, I have a question. Can I ask you, please? Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Mataji, in uh, ISKCON, why is uh, importance given to Isha Upanishad more? And also my second question is, uh -huh. in Bhagavad Gita, we talk about spirit, uh, uh, like about the Atma and all those things, no, Mataji. Is there yes. any other uh, Hindu scripture which talks in detail about all those things? So any other Upanishad or any other yeah, yeah. Uh, thing? Uh, I have not read still, but if you want to read, yes, please go ahead. Garuda Puran. Exclusively talks about Atma and punishment for Atma. One topic fully, that book. 
So, Garu, ah, okay. uh, talks about it. If you want to know, in Bhagavatam also, in some count, canto, it talks about uh, the punishments to fifth chapter, last in hell. fifth uh, canto, last chapter talks about hellish planets. But that talks mm-hmm. about twenty sixth chapter, twenty eight hells only are spoken. But Garuda Puranam, the entire book is only punishment. Okay. So I had this uh, my daughter and daughter's friend who came and told Auntie, can you tell me, uh, you know, uh, what hell we will go? So I started reading more to really fit. there uh, so i asked what mistake you all did so my daughter told i stole okay that was a thing i stole a eraser when i was in lkg so then i realized that up to age of 5 you are excluded so you can get away with that and the other girl said i copied so it was not there in bhagavatam when i read so my mom was telling maybe there are bigger <laughs> punishments i said no maybe the smaller ones are left in garuda puranam of course till age of 5 it's not counted but i'm just saying so garuda puranam Uh, but if you would like to know, you can go ahead with Garuda Puran. I am not reading. Two, three things are there. So we say, I mind my own business, right? So when I go in the road, I even if they fight, I will not bother. I am just minding my business. That is an error. So somebody is like really doing anyan. You just can't close your eyes and come. You have to go and question. Because of that punishment, your eyes goes off. That is why in yoga, you know your power. You know each one of us are with buddhi na specs. Point five, point two five, point one. Every time. Point two five power down, power cut. So that is why all of us wear booties. Sorry, Hari Krishna. About Isho, Isho Upanishad, Mataji. What Upanishad. is the why is importance given to Isho Upanishad? Okay. Because there so are so many Upanishads which even in Bhagavad Gita, perfect uh, our Guruji uh, discusses, Bhaktivedanta and the Prabhuji discusses. Okay. But why okay. Isho Upanishad is given special? So there are hundred and eight Upanishads, right? So of that, uh, so uh, what is very so basically of there are many Upanishads. Isha Upanishad. The importance is given because Isha Upanishad is the only Upanishad which, honestly speaking, Mataji, we can understand. But what is very important is please go to the Upanishad class, Isha Upanishad. I don't know shlokas. I'm just taking a live example of myself. I can't read shlokas. I don't know Sanskrit. But Isha Upanishad is there's some magic in this. I can tell you that. You have to experience this because I can chant the, all the shlokas by heart. I need love. It comes to you. Wow. Right. So it just comes. I have not only last look. I was difficult. I have asked you, please tell me once. Ah, why should I tell? Tell, tell. Because I thought you go in, and I didn't realize there was this. Uh, there was one Mataji to me. I think you know. Try. So when I tried, it came. So why I am telling you is it's not about my. It's got nothing to do with my capacity at all here. Zero capacity I have in Sanskrit. Zero to the power of not even zero. Worse capacity I have in even memorize. If someone tells me to memorize, I just can't memorize. So why I am telling you is so each of Upanishad has that bonding. It can connect you. you can relate to it mataji i have not read other upanishads so i can't honestly i am not qualified to draw a comparison what i tell you is what i have read and one time reading might be difficult you might have to read twice or thrice i'm not getting into that can we get into it right it is so lively every bit of isha upanishad talks practically about people about life it's about what you should do because nectar of instruction is instruction who don't do it talks about what should do what you should not do but isha upanishad is very beautiful it tells that do and don't do in a very posh manner you know mm. this this is what happens if you don't do this this is what happens if you learn vidya fine if you are not educated it's bad if you are educated also it will be bad because you get too much hype therefore what you should do you should also be spiritual education material so it draws it doesn't leave any loophole it's like complete circle that's why mm. it starts with that right om purnamatah फ्लैश इन योर माइंड trust me you will enjoy the show so that much i can but but uh, in, as a, uh, a very strange thing in the purports what we read in bhagavad gita more than isha upanishad mundaka upanishad uh, chandopya upanishad taitro yes. upanishad have been uh, quoted uh, yes. that is why i was very interested because especially uh, this uh, place where the two parrots are eating how beautifully it explains you know, i am very interested mata ji you know those, those so, Mataji, very very interesting do... Now only we are entering LKG, right? So we are yeah. now to UKG. So we will first do Isha Upanishad, and then mm. we'll do one after that. So someone asked me, Mata Ji, why are we not teaching Chaitanya Charita Amrita, right? So I said Chaitanya Charita Amrita, very difficult. 
because i remember one uh, one of our uh, teachers she was telling that you know it is a phd level it's like PhD, genuinely phd right and she was telling me hey you are under qualified uh, for uh, level 2 so namish prabhu told no no forget it she will do it and then she came and told me like last month you over qualified for chaitanya which is not a fact right zero it's so difficult because chaitanya gets so technical right so why i am telling you this is mata ji if you open the first day chaitanya book you read trust me we will all run away so much of heavy philosophy but if you are going to slowly progress that's why i am introducing you all to shrimad bhagavatam please do that right then you can think of heavy books isha upanishad is not a self study shrimad bhagavatam is self study isha upanishad you might need explanation because if it is self study it can mislead you will perceive in your of course prabhupada has given it like mashed food for children to mash and put in the mouth you can swallow that's how he is given it but nevertheless you need some teaching so my suggestion is hear isha upanishad then you will you will tell me why isha why you did not learn isha upanishad that much i, I still remember mata ji the guru dakshana 100% i will read it mata ji भक्ति शास्त्री लेवल एंड बायहार्ट श्लोक आई एम टोल यूर इन द्लास <laughs> yeah, no, it's not mandatory, but I have told you right, and we have revised also, right? I have told you like ten point eight, ten point nine, ten point ten, ten point eleven. Mat chitta, mat karta, pranam. All that when it comes, I immediately tell this is an important story. But you don't have to worry. First, get the but, concept. But but, but still, Mata Ji, if we Let are given a list of the shlokams ah. to learn by so, heart, so we can easily do that. Yeah, I totally understand. But what I'm telling you is, level four is when you have this compulsory learning by heart shlokas. But if you want to learn some shloka, every level one also we will publish one shloka. Please go back to your level one and read one shloka in one chapter. You can learn. Let's finish. We were not. Uh, we were not. Uh, I don't think we were told. Which batch were you, Mata Ji? Maybe. Maybe I did not uh, listen to it properly. No problem. Go back to the group and see. You will still have those things. Oh, okay then. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hare But Krishna. anyway, Mata Ji, uh, Krishna has given us uh, enough uh, diligence to. See which is more important, etc. No? Sure. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Krishna. Lakshmi is message. Hi, Lakshmi. How are you? What is the difference between science of self discovery and science of science of self discovery and science for self? Are you talking about the book, Lakshmi? I have to mute and make it clear. So till then, I'll read the other questions. Narmada, Mata, looking forward for more section. Yeah, I'm so happy to have you all back. Meenakshi, I was uh, so divine to watch you again. Yes. Very nice. I could also connect one more. Uh, Param Dishwa Nivarti. I always tell how oh, I hate teaching, but I enjoy talking to you all. Right. So, so I think there is some power in Krishna's words and actions. In uh, Hema Mata Ji, I am open to work with you upcoming batch if you like and timing works. Uh, Hema Mata Ji, please take down my number and message me nine five triple zero three five three nine. If you want to um, work with me, don't worry about time. Twenty four hours, any time, whenever you are available, I can. so nandita mata ji's mind voice i can tell and Pra- mohan das prabhu's mind voice is telling hema mata ji don't message her don't message her you know you are going to be in a oh time. no 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 i'd like everybody to message and volunteer i have tried to stress on this that everybody should volunteer we are yeah. talking so much about devotional service please get started it's time you all did yeah so but you mata ji you can help you. A lot of presentations yeah. and other thing. Yes, I'll be very happy. You can connect. So thank you. You so you'll enjoy yes. working with Emma Mata Ji. I can. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Yeah. See, Emma Mata Ji is already cautious. I'll enjoy. He is not told the other way around. So that's a indirect hint for you. Uh, so Sunil Kumar Prabhu, Hare Krishna Mata Ji, please share the video of death and life. I missed that video. It's in YouTube, Prabhu. So YouTube link. Yeah, it's in YouTube. It's in the playlist. They've updated. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, did I play? Did. Hare Krishna Mata Ji, can you please clarify on timeline of Kuru Chetra? We did that. Kali Yuga started five uh, thousand years back, Prabhu. Totally four point three two years are million years are there, of which five thousand years are over. So four point two seven is still there. Kuru Chetra. So I think I have addressed all. Any other questions? Any other topic? So next time when we meet, I think we'll do little more small portion of science and spirituality. 
little bit of um, uh, what we'll do a little bit of whatever oh, you all can tell stories if anyone wants to tell a story i would like to keep the forum open please go ahead mathi i would like to uh, ask about uh, the books the difference between the subject science of self realization and science of self discovery what is the difference between to no, those two books you're talking about okay this is a second chance book sorry mathi ji i'll come back to you i saw this this is only that ajamila story right uh, second chance no no, no. no, no, no i'm not talking, but i'm just telling you there is nothing called uh, signs of self i think you're getting confused with the journey of self discovery ha huh. correct yes mathi ji so this is a very tiny chapter and this is from uh, this is in the letter format from all the articles of back to god at maxim there is this magazine by prabhupada called back to god at maxim and here it talks about these seven important points which are taken and the topics you yourself can see i've just opened journey okay. super conscious spiritual master yoga material problem these are the things which are discussed here now science and spirituality like this is just a book okay this is a very good book science of self realization is also eight chapters but here it talks about uh, how do you choose your spiritual master culture background christianity how it is all this will come up practicing yoga what is a cure uh, science and uh, this book is a little heavy i have felt it a little heavy science of self realization uh, but it's in a story form not story form it's in a what should i say conversation form. so it's like you know initially after that it all goes that way it's more like a form Uh, but it's worth it you should read it because it talks about various letters written by prabhupada and things like you know how did uh, uh, how what is the link between christians and krishna all that is addressed there are krishna mata ji feel free. yeah attendance reshmi mata ji is telling thank you mata ji hari krishna is there any other question anything else you would like to share your realizations you all have any message if there's nothing else um, at the meeting and we'll meet again next week one more question mata ji what is yes. different the what is the what is the difference between reading the various purans and shrimad bhagavatam what is the what is the difference between reading the purans and shrimad what is the difference between reading mahapurans the different forms of mahapuran like agni puran garur pura no no okay Pura, there are basically okay there are uh, uh, 18 puranas broadly right first six and the six the first six and the top 6 i will tell you which you will understand top satvik puran which means that it will address the satvika quality they will be able to understand and relate now the second middle one is for rajas so these puranas relate to stories everything not the stories the philosophies everything which the tamasic uh, sorry the rajasic people will suit and the idea of that is after finishing the 6 they will elevate themselves to the satvik and the last 6 is about tamasic and the idea is not to stay there it's like you gradually elevate right so on the first day on the 18th day if they had told us you have to follow four regulatory principles no meat eating no all the four especially no meat eating or no coffee tea trust me mata ji many of us would have gone i would have left first right because i was a hardcore non vegetarian hardcore right so i had this yoga class which we had organized in the bank and the first thing i told us you can teach yoga but do not talk about food habits please do not talk but mata ji i just got it sticky stick to only class yoga physical okay okay he kept quiet he had no choice right so why i am telling you is this is called uh, understanding right so you can't go you not be able to understand you not be able to relate so that is why various levels are given at various thing in fact jesus christ when he came also he told i can talk but your ears can't understand he has made that statement i mean something like that i don't know the exact words he says that he says that right i can go on talk but so what is the capacity for you to hold besides this class right so it is about teachings upanishads uh, nectar of so upanishads are clearly rules upanishads are way of life how you are supposed to be so so that's why i told you all, broadly it's one out of eight upanishads so isha upanishad is a very understandable upanishad so that's the thing and shrimad bhagavatam like uh... ah so it is the vedanta vedanta means what veda anta end of vedas so if you read shrimad bhagavatam everything is built into it it is the end of veda uh, shrimad bhagavad gita has how many shlokas does bhagavad gita have 700 700 mata ji super how many shrimad bhagavatam has 18000 18000 so it has 18000 uh, shlokas 
so it is a huge book it started with like chatur shloka krishna never did chatur shloka it was ever supported only like the chatur shloka shrimad bhagavatam was also told by brahma to narada only four shlokas it was only four but later it got developed developed as the teachings went on and it landed with 18000 so it uh, is this a story of this bhagavad gita story by krishna right it's not story but of philosophy love letter of krishna shrimad bhagavatam is about krishna so that's the difference so shrimad bhagavatam is also written by vyasa it is a combination of everything it lab love story it lab politics it lab fights it lab everything built into it it will have poor it will have rich it will have caste discrimination it will have everything name it you have politics also you know war also you know so one can read uh, puranas as well as shrimad bhagavatam does it, is it okay to read both sorry ma'am uh, shrimad bhagavatam and i said uh, i was saying to ma uh, is it okay to read simultaneously the okay, uh, what purana, purana are you talking about a uh, vishnu purana or markanda purana or garuda my suggestion purana. will be do one at a time because anyway you are going to level 3 you have three books to read so you will get totally okay. as i said even even upanishads when you do a mixture it will be confusing right so the best thing is follow the process shrimad bhagavatam is not time out you can read any time like your japa any place any time like that you can do but there are some puranas have a restriction you can't read here you can't read at this time even garuda purana i was told that you can't read in the house so i don't know the details but i'm just sharing with you but shrimad bhagavatam has no restriction you can read any day any time it's bhagavat you have two bhagavatas one is a person who is speaking like narada and the other one is the book form so krishna is vyasa is speaking the book form use that opportunity and get that knowledge after you finish that because shrimad bhagavatam 1800000 books will give you clarity and then you can think if at all you need any other book too many books reading also is not good because it's going to confuse right so that's why i start going higher you see uh, in lkg you, or first standard you read 12 books but as you go to 11 12 you are reduced so as you go your specialization increases right so now you should get into specialization shrimad bhagavatam is like specialization you read the one book perfect enough bhagavad gita one book shrimad bhagavatam anyway you have net of instruction and net of devotion and show your hands will be fully tight so don't you can read but i would if i have not read so personally i would recommend you please stick to this finish then you can do another one parallel reading is good but too many parallel reading will be confusing hari krishna okay mataji okay mataji thank you mataji hari krishna mataji hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna mataji hari krishna prabhu 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 Mataji, my question is uh, repeatedly in this. These things is uh, should be non-vegetarian. You're asking me or you're telling me? No, no. I am asking you that you should not eat meat and all the things. Yeah, that is you a very. Why? Um, no, in what way it is affects my spiritual journey? Why it is? It is. Prabhu, why? very simple, Prabhu. Uh, first of all, what is non-vegetarian? I have to share this joke. Okay, I am living in an apartment, and someone told me that this apartment originally was built on a graveyard. Okay, I don't know the truth. I'm not bothered either. So, uh, so she, so I, one of my cousin was telling, "Hey, don't worry. Every one of us have a graveyard in our stomach, right?" Why he told? Ironically, but the fact is that, right? So, what is stomach? If you keep eating all knowledge, so why not knowledge? So basically, the very fundamental concept of spirituality is about compassion. And non-vegetarian is not about the kind of food. It's about the kind of process right so what are you doing you're killing a life is killing a life at any point in time justified forget about veg or non veg and since you are in level 3 i'm asking you all straight and i i would want non vegetarians ex non vegetarians to talk uh, and prabhu i will do then i will do good you have taken this i will do this presentation next week on vegetarianism why you should be a vegetarian how physically also it helps because prabhu first and foremost killing a life is bad yes or no Can yes mother be? yes mother ji I can kill a human being, Prabhu. So I can eat you. No, Prabhu, you just said yes. No, no. Prabhu, in Korea, they have this habit of eating the uh, what is it? The fetus. It's very expensive. Three months fetus before it's born, because they say fetus doesn't have life. Is it right or wrong? Prabhu? I cannot say, Mataji. So you're okay with eating a fetus, Prabhu, if they come and give it to you? No, no, no. Why, Prabhu? No. Why, Prabhu? Mm, I cannot say. Exactly, because we do not have. We've been trained, Prabhu. I understand your point because I can relate so much to you because I'm a not. I was a non-vegetarian. No, Mataji. My question is very simple, Mataji. That because just now you told that uh, we we are uh, killing some life. Yes. And just now in in this presentation, 
we learned that plants also have the life the, and the, now um, killing eating that the plant food is also killing something life that's very what nice. uh, very nice so what happens if you see prabhu in case of the plants we don't destroy we largely take i know you're coming to the beans but 90% of the time the consciousness is very important the consciousness of the animal is more developed than a plant so the plant does not feel so much pain one second thing is is it wrong yes it is wrong but we have to survive so we normally take only the vegetable fruit which is a part of it we don't destroy the plant if you see that's why i love jain philosophy they don't eat anything including roots because they feel it destroys the plant right there are situations when we may have to do something for example covid is a virus we will have to eat with it because it has to and we will kill the virus right it's like self defense someone comes to kill me i'm still okay right even from the law point of view i can kill the person i will be punished i will be inquired but i will not be penalized likewise is about killing killing an animal is an offense even otherwise right because you're killing life plant yes it is an offense but you need something to survive therefore you are doing as lower karma and that is why to avoid the sin you are giving to krishna pas patram pushpam param toyam correct so that is why is it a sin yes that is why is eating uh, vegetable allowed yes it is sanctioned but you want it sanctified we don't want to be veg or non vegetarian we want to be krishna vegetarian so we give that food to krishna and eat otherwise we will become hitler hitler is a pure vegetarian but will you like to be like hitler no and monkey is a vegetarian but still it's in mode of ignorance but we give the food to uh, krishna and then we eat so that it becomes prasad and we get sanctified so that, i hope i have answered both your questions yes ma pazi but actually in throughout the bhagavad gita krishna never told that don't eat meat but he has given only three kind of foods that is sattvic rajasic and sattvic but in that in, in the, he has categorized the food as a three but in that he has not mentioned this uh, uh, non veg prabhu in bhagavad gita i would like to share one thing that in quran there is he is not mentioned non veg right he is other side of mention you can give me this one second thing is in quran there was a explicit mention that a person should not have a physical relationship with the sister or the mother bhagavad gita is not mentioning that so does it mean a person can go and have a relationship illicitly with his own mother or his sister prabhu no why prabhu it's not mentioned in bhagavad gita no but because he has already mentioned about the food in that he has not mentioned this thing that is what i am i am asking no illicit relationship is also mentioned prabhu bhagavad gita it says right Many okay. things clearly tells. So it is not mentioned. Food alone, you like, so you are focusing there. But it is why I am telling you. I'll address this. This is very similar to the question which the previous Mata Ji asked about uh, Puranas, right? I told you the six Puranas on the top are Satvik. So Bhagavad Gita is more related to Satvik, which is why Vishnu, Vishnu, uh, is uh, in the mode of goodness. Addresses people also in the mode of goodness. It's Satvik, right? So now whatever you are, this particular thing is not mentioned in Bhagavad Gita. Does not mean Bhagavad Gita it is allowed to go. relationship with your mother or sister because people who read that by default know you go to any person in hindu go and ask him i would like to marry your sister until are you crazy right that will be the first reaction from the person because that in the wildest dream nobody will even think nobody will even think likewise with the mother even if he is drunk drunk to the core he will be able to differentiate his mother from the girl also yes or no yes right so this is what i've heard so i not uh, drunk so i don't know but i'm assuming this this is what i've told i've heard from people who are drunk so this is the story so it is not mentioned so what is not mentioned in bhagavad gita doesn't mean we can do it is because bhagavad gita positions for higher set of people so it means that it is understood and krishna very clearly tells my menu card is this and you are want to become my devotee give the food get sanctified so when many of them have this problem with pitra pitra puja many of them tell that my grandfather likes drinks my grandfather likes um what mutton chicken whatever but the fact is you are going to give that because you are giving it to vishnu to satisfy vishnu so that he will give credits to your parents or grandparents or great grandparents please liberate them from sins so end of the day prabhu paramatma is in your heart right same paramatma is in their heart of agreed with the plant or be it a animal but you are no choice so you have a situation so even if you are stuck in a forest when there is absolutely no choice you only have to survive and it's life and death then you still can eat non veg it's allowed for kshatriyas also they allow that's how it came right but when you have option you should not eat hold on so that's a point no oh, that is okay that's uh, absolutely it is correct but uh, i would like to understand why it is it makes me tamasic or it makes me something like that any 
reasons like that. Let's yes, sir. there is a long reason. Since you brought this topic, please wait. Next week, I will do that presentation. Sure, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Sure. How will non-veg have an impact in everybody's life? And how is it? Yes, yes, yes. That, that is my yes. question. Next week, I will do that presentation. Now, plan changed. So, we will do vegetarian. Nandita Mataji and Mohan Das Prabhu, please remind me. Otherwise, I'll come to the class and talk something and go off. Right. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Thank go so further much. with onion and garlic also. Because that's onion and garlic, mean. yeah. It's not non-vegetarian, but it will increase your thamsic quality. Already, we are very high on thamsic. Demonic quality is very high for us. Yes. Just to bring that down, we are avoiding Why not coffee tea? Because coffee tea has pain and it is an intoxicant. That's it. What about mushrooms? Are we we're not allowed to eat mushroom, right? Yes. Mushroom also same, Mataji. Thams, uh, kiti, the mushroom is also thamsic. Oh, Chocolate is mushroom? as well. Chocolates as well, right? So that's provided it has caffeine. Yes. Anything which has caffeine. And uh, mushroom is what? It's fungi, fungal, fungi, whatever you call it. If you Google mushroom, you'll know what it is actually. Even some kinds of cheeses. Some kinds of diseases. I don't have the list, but yes. Right. So, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Yes. I mean, just to add to one of the Prabhuji's, just to mention, I took up the 11 1 and 18 D course begin with Suhas Prabhuji. That was in last year in July. And the you know, Mataji, began... after this, you can share. You wanted to share something? Yes, you can. Yes, Prabhu, you, it's okay, Prabhu. Level 1 certificate, even if it's not there, it's pretty fine. No, just to mention a few things about non veg uh, because level one I began, I was a hardcore non vegetarian too. Oh, uh, thank you. Bro. So I began my journey 18 day course with uh, thanks to Suhas Prabhuji in July, and uh, oh, in okay. August it was level two with uh, Subhuti Tamudal uh, Das Prabhuji. Amazing. Yeah, teacher, yeah. I have quit since last August actually. So a lot of changes in the body that happens once you quit, <laughs> and it's good that way because you realize that and they do all this fasting of Ekadashi. It definitely helps in that way. So it all comes down to self-realization, whether you want to eat it or not eat it. And what happens if you eat it, that was well explained in level one and level two. So it comes down to what you feel like, yeah. Thank you so much, Prabhu. I think I will do this presentation of it. Never had right. a chance to do that next week. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. But it feels great after quitting non -vizard. That's definitely, I would say, yeah. Uh, I didn't realize so much, Prabhu. Thank you so much for sharing. But what I realized is I felt more or less guilty. I could tell that. You know, yes, I, yes. Yeah. So right. I, I never thought of it when I was a non-vegetarian, but after giving up non-veg, I feel so peaceful. Yes, yes, very true. Yeah. But the only thing is I cook, but I cook chicken for my pet dog. So I have to, there's no choice there. So Prabhu, that way, that's okay, yeah. Prabhu. You know what is that called? That's called uh, uh yeah, I have to tell you this. It's called Buddha Yagna. Okay. <laughs> Supposed to, yeah, seriously. I'm not, okay. I'm not making up, it is there very much in Shastras. Okay. So you know, there are certain process processes which we have to follow, like uh, you know, the Panchanatra, Bhutti and all that. In that, below that, or rather one category is called Bhuta Yagna. One second. Right, okay. You take care of your pet, it comes under Bhuta Yagna. Oh, nice, okay. Responsibility, just like how you take care of your dependent. Like if you have a child, you take care of, it, of the child. So yes, Mataji. You take care of your dependent also. And in that yes. dependent, everything comes. Your pets, your cow, whatever. The category of pet. So don't tell me okay. lion and pet. Obviously, lion okay. and pet. <laughs> right. <laughs> whatever. Whatever comes under because it's dependent on you. So that okay. is the Buddha Yagna. Thank you. Thank you. Not for the Buddha, Buddha. So you're right, doing right. Yagna, Prabhu. You. You're doing Yagna. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Thanks, thank Matali. Yeah. So I messaged, I told my daughter this. I, she said, Baba, can I tell everyone? I said, Go ahead and tell everyone. No problem. Okay. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Matali. So, Hare Krishna. So, Prabhu, uh, I just wanted to share since you have a pet. Right, there are uh, there was one incident which happened. Right, I was running the test for level two. I think many of y'all who were a part of that. So I used to do question paper. I've not told this to y'all, but now I can. Okay. I used to do question paper. So I had, I never used to have time because we used to come in the last moment. So I used to make paper, and so I won't be able to chant in the morning at four because I used to do the paper because six o'clock used to be the class. So I have a cat, and this cat used to uh, bring my chanting bag. First, I didn't realize, but then I understood, oh, acha, morning schedule is changed. So just come and drop it right before the laptop or here. So there were two uh, set of devotees. So one set of a devotee who told me, uh, senior devotees, of course, that, hey, I hope the cat did not uh, keep it in the mouth. So I said, you have to check with the cat because I was not noticing the cat. <laughs> right? But common sense prevails. How else do you expect the cat to be? You can wear a backpack and come, right? So it's very obvious. So I didn't tell that. There was another devotee who told me one thing. He said, do you feed the cats prasad? I thought, please do. Because don't miss an opportunity. Of course, you don't have to give food or sweet because it may be harmful. But you can right. also feed them. What do you call charadna, mirta, the water, right? Or we wash that glass, that water we can pour. Because it's very 
right? You can give. So maybe Prabhu, if you are not done, I really liked it and I learned from that. And um, as per Sanyasi rule, they don't touch a dog, they don't touch an animal. It's considered. But I think Mahaprabhu hugged the puppy, and the name of the puppy is Mukunda. And everyone told him, "You are not a Brahmana. You are of course he's, he's from a Brahmin family, right? So you are a uh, Sanyasi, and you are hugging." And that dog also is taken a, a liberation. So when you go to Goloka, maybe you can meet Mukunda, the dog, over there. Oh, nice Mukunda, nice name. <laughs> yeah, name is Mukunda. Hare Krishna. Oh, thank you, Mata Ji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, Hema, please go ahead. Hema, Mata Ji, please share. I don't know. It will be related to the word Prabhu Ji got the <laughs> has a question, but I thought maybe it's gonna helpful. So I was listening to Australia, one of the guru, and he said in his journey that he first time came to the ISKCON temple and somebody was giving lecture that follow your life on based on the principle and pleasure. I like two P you have to remember. So for your pleasure, you don't harm any animals. And he was eating the cow meat. And he also mentioned in that lecture that if you eat a cow meat, you may have to take a birth as a cow for however many right. hairs on right. the cow. So that many births you have to leave as a cow and somebody may kill you that yes. many times. So that made his heart transferred so much that he became a disciple. And he's a great guru now in the Australia, one of the uh, temple. And relate to what the other guru did just saying about that after quit eating meat, it gives you peace. And you also mentioned, because I think when they, go to the uh, slaughterhouse, they'll have a fear, anxiety, all those things, yeah. all feelings are in that meat when you consume. So that's why your um, self-confidence and it affects everything, I believe so. So that's, right. I Even also chemically. heard from You're somebody else. Right. Uh, and right. second thing is, right. mamsam means that, uh, I, you know, mamsam means me, you can eat. That is what it means. So you're telling in the years, mamsam means that, you know, hey, I'm eating you now, next time you can eat, we'll swap roles. So that's a, that's a spiritual side. Scientific side, thank you so much, Hema Mataji, for sharing. It's so perfect what she said. If you eat meat, uh, time of death, irrespective of whether it's halal, whatever, uh, the moment it comes, it realizes, oh my God, I trusted you so much. I trusted you so much and now you're going to kill me. You know, that kind of a feeling which creates a lot of enzyme secretion, which is very harmful. And end of the day, uh, you know, uh, do we really need to have that happiness by killing an animal? That's a choice which you can make, right? That's a choice. And I did tell you about the serial killer once story, which a commissioner had shared, right? So that's the similar story. Maybe I'll tell the story again next week if you all have not heard. So end of the day is what is your priority? Is your priority enjoying and releasing a dead body and killing it? If it is yes, you should take the anoshirin. If you feel some part of your heart tells you not to do, go on. So that's the point. Hare Krishna. So thank you so much. And uh, Hare Krishna, I will see you all back next week, Sunday. Right, Saturday or Sunday, I'll confirm. So I should be back on Saturday, Friday or Saturday. So I'll connect either that day or the next day. So please look out for messages from uh, Nandita. I will also have uh, Sri Lakshmi to address it. For this level two, uh, we are meeting on 2nd uh, May, Mataji. Am I correct? 2nd is for Monday. Morning class. Morning level three. No, no, morning. No. Level two, Let final. No, no, class. Prabhu, we will have morning class. We have not completed 18th chapter. We will meet as usual on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No, that is on second day. Over and yeah. above that, yes. What I am telling you is level one uh, class, uh, sorry, the level two class for the morning batch of mine, that will continue on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because we have not completed the 18th chapter as yet. So I am addressing just not them. This is a special invite for you all because there is this 18, I finished one batch, I told you, right? The evening uh, devotees. So this is a program for them. I thought you all should not miss it. So I asked you all to join. Yes, very good opportunity, Mataji. Thank you very Thank much. You so much. Thank you so much. Bro. My pleasure. Mataji, can I speak, Mataji, please? Yes, yes, please go ahead. Uh, Mataji, I just uh, now tried to fill up Google form for L3. It's not accepted. Mataji, Mataji you might have to write. Uh, uh, very good. Mataji, why don't you write to them? It's a good point. Yeah, I will. I'll have to write. That's what I was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Please go ahead and write. Sure. Without yeah. L one, it's not accepted. Perfect. And I have. Please. I had submitted L two and all other details. Sure. Okay, Mataji. Then I try doing the quiz myself once again. L one quiz. That also I don't have any access. It says sure. you don't L1 have any. Yeah. No problem, Mataji. Please mention that also. Huh. 
<laughs> uh, then I, I think I'll have to write the mail. Yes. Wherever you have a challenge, please write the mail. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Nandita Mataji, are you there? You can hear me, of course. She can hear, but she doesn't want to hear. There's too many such uses. I'm saying. Oh, yes. I know. Nandita, <laughs> Nandita I, I, is very nice, but uh, you know, there's someone assigned for this. So that's why Nandita has shared the email ID. So that uh -huh. nice if you can write to the person so that they will resolve it. Okay. Yeah, she has provided me email ID of uh, Namanishta uh, Nama Das Prabhuji. Sure, so sure. I'll, I'll write. Thank you so much. Mataji, so, yes, Mataji uh, we would like to see that Choti uh, devotee, Mataji. Manasvi. Manasvi, just switch on the video. And... Manasvi, they want to see your beautiful face. She's always keeping the video on. Today's class, she felt bored, so she switched off. <laughs> oh, bored, huh? Very nice. <laughs> Good, Manasi. God bless you. Hare so sweet, Manasi. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Very nice. Very nice. We are inspired by your voice, your, your, your They are response. from morning batch, Manasi. They are yes. from my morning batch. I told them that you are a very special devotee, that you give so much of respect. Even a cat, you will call only Mataji and Prabhuji. I think who <laughs> remembers and he is called. Right? Okay. Very so nice. Like, absolute. You ask her which mode you are, she will answer you, Prabhu. Ask her which mode are you. Which mode are you, Manas Manasvi? Mata, uh, Prabhuji, I am in now Shuddha Sattva Guna as I am waking up in the morning and doing everything like Sattva Guna and in Krishna consciousness also. Oh my God, you are already reached to Sattva Guna. Haribol. Sattva Sattva. Yeah, Haribol. Sattva Sattva, yes, Sattva Sattva, yes. Very nice, very nice. We are all Prabhu, inspired. Most probably by the time we all come to level 4, you know, she may become a teacher for level 4 also. Prabhu. Yes, yes, we wish, we wish. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Thank you so Hare much. Krishna. Hare Krishna. All of you, thank you so much, Manasvi. And uh, so we'll end the meeting here. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Krishna